call, I'll call him right now. And we are here at Post Oak Little League. Okay, all right, let, let me call him. Yes, it call is him. the Miners' competition between the Thunder and the Mighty Muscles. I am Just Barbosa, while we're Rick and Brian. Good afternoon, everybody. What a beautiful day, a muggy day at Carl Sullivan Middle Field. I'm Brian Ross. Here's Rick Herman. Rick, Justin, excited to do this game. Guys, we're ready to roll. We are ready to roll. We played both these teams this regular season. We were the crowd ads. Lost both games. On technicalities, of course. That's neither here nor there. I'm sure we're bucking for a promotion, but we're here for a good game today. Yeah, these are two quality teams. Uh, you have the six seed Muscles and the eight seed Thunder, uh, both getting hot at the right time. Both really good defensive teams. They're out really strong on the mound. Uh, should be a great matchup. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll take a break here after National Anthem. Play some ball. Never gets old, Mr. Harmon. Looks like Coach Steelhorn's already on his third oh, shirt. I love it. <laughs> Both caught fair. And we are back here at Post Oak Little League. Yes, it's the Thunder and the Mighty Muscles. Game time coming up just short, shortly for the first pitch. As it's a beautiful day here in Houston, Texas. Definitely kind of a hot day so far. And we're going to apologize in advance. Our producers do not have dump buttons, so what we say goes, kids, you've heard it all from the dugout. It's nothing new. Let's get it going, player fans. Word is that Coach Dotson and Coach Hutchison are going with the young Dynamo Hayes Trumi on the mound today. Is that, uh, does that surprise you at all, Rick? No, it doesn't. Um, you look at his numbers throughout the year. 3.0 ERA, left-handed pitcher. Pretty dang solid, if you ask me. He's really been one of the most exciting young players in the league this year. And doesn't hurt to have Parker Dodson waiting in the wings if anything goes wrong. Absolutely, down. and Parker's numbers are just as good. On the mound and batting. Muscles surviving a... Eight inning, extra inning dandy against the Scrappers in the semifinals. One of the true classic games of the year. Thunder, meanwhile, was... outlasting a, a very plucky Muck Dogs team that had one of the great Cinderella runs. That game was six to five. Now, to be honest, Brian, both of these teams are on very good runs. After good regular seasons, but not great, that just got hot in the playoffs when it all matters. And like you could say in any league, at pole, you know, nothing matters until the playoffs start. And one of the things is, year after year, good pitching and quality defense really seem to rise to the top. No doubt. Certainly no exception here. No doubt. Muscles largely known for their three-headed pitching staff. Toomey, Dotson, and Porter Hutchison, who was used on Wednesday. We won't be seeing him on the mound today, but we'll be seeing plenty of Toomey and Dotson, presumably. Uh, Thunder, meanwhile, have their workhorse ace, Robert Bike, on the hill. 
And Robert's numbers this year are pretty solid. Again, on the mound and batting. Well, Saturday. It doesn't get better than this, Rick. Button. Button. Oh, y'all are back. Sweet. Y'all are back up. And about to be underway here at Post Coat Little League. And lead off of the Thunder is going to be number 21. Elliot Lux, number 21, playing second base today. Pound for pound, one of the best players in the league. Pocket Hercules, Rick. Whoop. Yep. Goes to St. John's, leading the team in stolen bases, 27. As that's going to be outside, it's going to be 0-1. It's a big day for the Lux family, their older son, Benjamin, playing in the Majors final tonight. That'll be on Eastfield. And Elliot was just named to the All-Star team, the Miners All-Stars. As that pitch was high, Coach would call him Easy E, or just simply E. Here's a 2-0 to Lutz, and that's going to be in there for a strike. Good pitch here. As Cal B, 2-1-1. He's set. And here's the pitch. That's a fly ball, and a second baseman with a falling back catch, and it'll be one away for the Thunder. Play. Heck of a play there. Yeah, Coach Dodson swears by his second baseman, Charles Simmons. He plays like that. Oh, yeah. He tripped there on the infield between the infield and the grass. Falling back. Made a heck of a play. Yeah, so bring up number two, Hunt Kuhlhorn to the plate. Short stop, and that's going to be high. Hunt goes to Memorial Drive Elementary. Nice third base, first base, and pitcher. 19 runs scored this year. Leads team in walks with 16, so he has a good eye. That's one proud papa over there coaching third base. And that's going to find a way in the right field. That's going to be a single for the Thunder. And he'll throw his on with one out. That's it, bring up Robert Bike. And when we talk about good defense, good team defense, one of the things that that entails, not just making the outs of the infield, but it's turning singles into singles and not letting them become triples. Great no doubt. Right no doubt. And that's in there for a strike, 0-1. That's grounded. And going to be fouled. I'll make it 0-2. So Robert Red led, led the team in almost every offensive category this year. 15 RBIs, and he also had 39 innings pitched. Uh, Here's the 0-2 to bike. That's a fly ball in the left field, and that is going to hook foul. And it's going to be called fair. Runner going towards th third base. And that's going to be a double. Runners on second and third. One out. Ready to hit it, Mike. It's like a coast call there, Brian. Yeah, Coach Hutchison and Coach Dodson not raising too much of a fuss. So. Has to be Newton up to the plate. That's the ground, and it can be fouled. I will say one thing, Brian. The Thunder are coming out swinging. 
No doubt about it. And that's uh, what you have to do with a strike thrower like Toomey on the mound. As we talked about, one of the most dynamic young players in the league. And that's going to be high. Count be one and one. outside, two and one. The event, uh, Coach Thielhorn needs him. Newtown does a pretty good job on the mound as well, as we've all seen. And swing and a miss for strike two. Counts even. Looks like Coach Thielhorn just took a shower. And that's going to be high. Counts going to be full at three and good two. Good eye there. That's on the edge. That's going to be ball four. And it'll be bases loaded, just one out. That's going to bring up Case Johnson, the first baseman. Case Johnson, one of the real thumpers in the league this year. Seen him hit multiple ground rule doubles. Make some great plays in the field. Solid player. Yeah, he's had a great year. We got to trying to get out of the bases loaded, one out jam. We had a walk off double, bottom of the sixth inning on Saturday to clinch the win against the Muck Dogs. Congrats again to the Muck Dogs for a really great run. And that's a swing and a miss. That'll be a strike. Rick, at this stage of the game, are you thinking ground ball may go home? Are you just getting the out, your easiest base? Depends on where it goes, Brian. Yeah, uh, that's I would, the best I would say with one out, I would go to the easiest spot. If that's home, it's home. If not, just get the out. Limit the damage. That's grounded. And third, not in time. And a runner will score. That'll be make it one nothing Thunder. A little bit of indecision there for Juarez. A fine third baseman. Great fielding. I think he just got a little confused there. You know, and where to go. He double pump to go home. And by the time he realized he should touch third, it was too late. That's grounded down the third baseman. And a throw home is in time for out number two. Love to see a fielder get such an immediate chance to redeem himself. Great play by Horace. A little bit better. No, no indecision there. Just grab it, throw it home. Yeah, has to be bases loaded, two outs. To be trying to get out of the jam, only allowing just one run. Here's a pitch, and that's outside one and zero. Oh. Oh. And now make it two and zero. Oh. Here's a pitch. Go get him, PG. And that's in there for a strike. I'll make it two and one. Peter Scale is Kincaid. Batted 433 this year. 13 run scorer, played mostly center field. His father, a well known dentist, Dr. George Gale. Back Correct. In, back in college, I'm not sure I would have let him change my tire. Now he's in my mouth every six months. As it's a hitter. There's not many, many people these days that would let me change your tire. That's grounded down the middle. It's bobbled. And runner's going home. Here's a throw, and he is out. And I'll be out number three as a runner will score, make it 2 nothing. 
as the Thunder score first as we'll head to the bottom first as we'll take a break here on Five Live. Back to five ply, as the Thunder lead it two nothing over the mighty Buffles. Up to the plate first for the Buffles. It's going to be the pitcher, number four, Hayes Toomey. And as we've talked about, big workhorse Robert Bike on the hill, truly one of the more reliable pitchers in the league. Real luxury for Coach Steelhorn and Coach Murphy to have him out there on Championship Saturday. Absolutely. Championship game, you know it's a big game, Brian, when they pull us away from our regular gig of announcing races at the Good dog point. track at Cushada. Did our Quinella hit on the seventh? Uh, not sure. As Toomey leads the team in all base percentage and runs scored. As Mike is ready, here's the pitch. For those of you who were here for Wednesday's semifinal game, you'll recall Hayes Toomey was the player that broke the log jam in the eighth inning with a big clutch triple. And later stole home. Really a five-tool player. Here's the 1-0. And that's in there for a strike. Maybe 1-1. One, one. And that's fouled away. Counts one and two. Hayes is leading the team in OPP and run scored. I call him the team spark plug. Here's one and two. And that's slow. And actually called called strike three. And I'll be one away. Look the little low, Brian. My days of complaining about the umpires. Zach! Zach! Ended when the Knights went down. They do a heck of a job out here, Rick. They do. As I'll bring up Lucas Gramayo. And that's in there for a strike. Lucas has played a fair amount of catcher this year quite well. He's playing first today. Also the fastest kid on the team. Dad played basketball at Columbia. As that pitch is fouled back, make it 0-2. Believe it or not, his dad and I played on the same basketball team in high school. I was a little bit more of a bench warming role, but... <laughs> 
And that's grounded, going to be fouled. A little English on that one. Go back him out. And what high school did y'all play basketball at? IMG Academy. No, it was a Kincaid school here in town. Ready, guys? Yeah, spiked his head at 0 oh 2. Here's the pitch. And that's fouled away. Ryan was a star point guard. Allen Iverson like skills. Young Lewis, Lucas is a pretty salty basketball player himself. But it's baseball season now, boys. And that pitch was high, I'll make it one and two. Mike ahead in the count. We'd love to get a base runner any way you can here if you're Coach Hutchison. And fouled away once again. Gourmet is staying alive. He's taking good rips. There's no doubt. You just don't see Bike or the muscle staff pick up a lot of free passes. You have to hit it today. And that's a drill down third base line, and it's going to be fouled. Smart play by Murphy over there to let that go foul. He's played some really solid third base. No doubt. Rounding out the infield for the Thunder, you got Hunt Thielhorn at short, Elliot Lux at second, Case Johnson at first. Here's a one two. And outside counts even. And that's inside. Counts now full at three and two. Good at bat here by Grant. At the very least, he's making bike work a little bit. It's the name of the game. No doubt. And that's grounded. Pass the shortstop and now going to the outfield. Ashton Meyer reaches base. I'll be one on with one out for the mighty Buffles. That's just a solid hit there. Hunt did everything he could do to get that. It just went by him. As yeah, so I'll bring up number seven, Porter Hutchinson. That's in there for a strike on one. I think this is actually Parker Dotson. Starting shortstop for the Muscles today. Batting 429 in the playoffs. And that's a low hit ball. Pass the shortstop into the outfield. Be runners on first and second on a single by Dotson. And now the Muscles are making some noise. Championship Saturday is nothing new for Dodson. He was on the runner-up Raptors last year. So he's experienced all the jitters and pressure of a championship minors game. Doesn't seem to be phased at all. He's seen it. He has seen it. As a real punch to the plate. One out and two on. And that's a different strike. Could be strike two, strike three, two away for the muscles. And they'll bring up number 99, Nico Juarez. And that's at the knees for strike one. Saw Juarez get a couple of chances on the third base at the top of the first. You ready? Big spot for him here. Nico batted 500 in the playoffs. Yeah, 
pass that was high and inside and I'll make the count one and one plays the piano and saxophone and that's foul pack and be out of play make it one and two Muscle's an aggressive base running team. I think you can count on anything in the outfield. Grandpa is going to be looking to score. And that's on the edge, strike three. Muscles will strand two by Swole Head to top the second. Thunder lead it 2 nothing. And we are back here on Pipe Live. As the Thunder lead it 2 nothing over the Mighty Muscles. As the Muscles stranded two, bottom half the first. First up for the Thunder, number 23. Oh. Muscles led the league by far in terms of runs allowed this year. Because of that great pitching staff and great defense, so Thunder have to be thrilled with those two runs in the first. No doubt. They, uh, think they dodged a bullet. Doing me a set, ready, here's a pitch. And then swing and a miss for strike one. Bell goes to River Oaks Baptist. He's one of the fastest kids on the team. That's five steals this season. And that's going to be called outside. Be one and one. And swing and a miss. As that'll be strike three. Be one away. Actually, it's one and two. And that's grounded. Down to her baseline. Going to be fouled. Steel horn with the hot hand over there. Here's one two to muscle white. And that's on the edge. Strike three, caught him looking be one away. And so bring up Oscar Croswell, the left fielder. Yeah. And that's fouled away. Oscar goes to Kincaid. Two for two in the playoffs against the Marauders. 
here's the one and one. And that's going to be called a strike. Just a few feet away from the booth is Oscar's proud Papa Miller Croswell. One of the more gregarious fellows you'll run into at all. And that's outside. Counts even at two and two. Oscar's walk-up song is the Sanford and Son theme. And swing and a miss, strike three. Two away for the Thunder. And two strikeouts to start the inning for Toomey. Gotta be impressed with the maturity of Toomey to come out here in the second inning, bounce right back, throw in strikes. Great pickup for this Russell's team. And that's gonna find the outside corner for strike one. Be working fast in this setup. Here's a pitch. That's hot. Counts one and one. Here's a pitch. And that's in there for strike two. Nine Tuna is wasting no time. And that's in there, strike three. Toomey strikes out the side. That's how we the top of the second. As we're right back on Fife Live, Thunder lead it 2 nothing over the Mighty Buses. We are back here on Five Live. Thunder lead it 2 nothing over to Mighty Muscles here at the bottom of the second inning. Mike, second inning of work. You know, Rick, the word out of Thunder Camp is that Mike not only breathes and sleeps baseball, but if they made edible baseballs, he would eat baseball every meal and drink out of a dirty garden hose. That's probably Man, I just want to hear some strong walk-up music today. No more Baby Shark. Baby Shark jumped the shark in Peewee's. Well, we do have the sweet, soulful... PR stylings of Mike Persia in the tower for those out of Carl Sullivan Middle Field today. Well, if he plays Sweet Caroline in between innings, I'm going to my car and going down. As counts 1 and 0. Oh. And swing and a miss. Make it 1 and 1. Yeah, it's going to be one and two. And that's going to be high, two and two.
Simmons, one of the steadier second basemen in the league. There was a game he was absent, and Coach Dodson was seen wandering the streets aimlessly trying to figure out how to rearrange his defense. Yeah, the count's going to be four at three and two. Off runner. Good job there. Rare free pass from Biden. Good out. Good out. Pass will bring up Quinn Persia. Pass will be a ball. Affectionately known as Taquito. You know what that's about, Rick? I know. Brian? Yeah, it's count be one and one. Let me know. Persia also a member of the runner-up Raptors team of 2021. So he's got the championship game experience as well. Here's a 2-1. And that's in there for strike two. Counts even. So where does the name Taquito come from? Ball four, runners on first and second, no outs. You can tell Bike really wanted that call. It was a good pitch. Muscle's doing a great job of making Bike work today. You know, they'd love to see him get to 85. That's how we Robbie Halpin. Center fielder. That's count so and one. Ready and field. That's in there for strike two. Strike three, one away for the Bustles. Oh, that's a big strikeout, Brian. Runners the first and second. It is straight six. Yeah, inside ball one. That's going to be called a strike. Mendez, one of the real nice surprises in the league this year, especially at the plate. That'll be a swing and a miss for strike two. Well, one thing's for sure, Mike does not waste any time once he gets the ball. And swing and a miss. Goes strike straight three. to the plate. And that'll be two away for the Thunder. And Mike trying to get out of trouble once again. As I'll bring up William Stewart. Not yet. No, the black cherry seltzer. The black cherry. Uh, Ask counts one and zero. Oh. <laughs> black cherry white ball. Nice. And that's lined into the outfield. What? On the third base, rounding home. Here's the throw. It's not going to be in time. And the muscle is on the board, and it's two to one. Clutch hit by Stewart. Muscle's got two guys on, two innings in a row. You know, Coach Dodson and Coach Hutch are thrilled to break through and get on the scoreboard here. And yeah, now bring up the Cowboys Stewart, Stewart to the plate. Right fielder. After getting the guy on first and second, and then two consecutive strikeouts. Having a huge hit to center, scoring a run. You can never let your guard down with this Muscles team. There's no easy outs. 
And the aggression on the base pass, something you really got to be careful about. Vassell's down the middle for a strike. Here's a 2 1. And that's in there for strike two. Counts even. You got it, Robert! Coach Dodson muttering some choice words under his breath after that call. Here's a 2 2. And foul back. Stewart stays alive. Close there, Brian. Young Montgomery trying to one up his brother who just had the clutch RBI. And that's fouled back. And yeah, gonna be fouled. Gallon makes four at three and two. Confusion on the scoreboard, but it is still two to one. And just got a piece of it and stays alive. for the Muscles as they strand two as we'll head to top of the third. Thunder still lead it 2-1. Welcome you back to my fly. We'll repeat it two to one. Over the mighty muscles. As we to the top of the third. Well, Ethan was taking it. He was just taking the first. So I didn't, I never liked sending up with him. He's still on the mound. For the muscles. Second baseman has it throw. The first is in time for out number one. What a great play by Dodson. That's that team hey, defense. Hey, great, man. great play. Yeah, so I'll bring up Bullet Gale to the plate. Number 16. 
Actually, you got the sack, Wade. As we've seen, typically those bouncers right past the pitcher is just an automatic single here in pole minors. Dodson had other things to say about it that time. He made a fantastic play on that ball. Even better throw. Here's 1-0. And swing a miss for strike one. Too far ahead, but in the game within a game, Coach Dodson and Coach Hutchinson have got to be thrilled with Toomey's efficiency here and his low pitch count. They've always got Parker Dodson waiting in the wings if necessary. Here's one to Toomey, and that's in there for strike three. Caught him looking two away. Well, and both these pitchers are not wasting any time when they get the ball back from the catcher. They're getting it back and just dealing it. And we're back here, Tom. The order will be Elliot Lutz. Oh, yeah. With two outs, here's a pitch. And that's a fly ball in the infield. Simmons has it. And it's going to be a single for Lux, two outs. Instant offense there from Watts. Yeah, little league version of a Texas leaguer. And now bring up Hunt Dillhorn to the plate. That's in there for a strike. And swing and a miss, strike two. Baselines absolutely packed with fans today, just what you'd expect. Hunt has been one of their best hitters all year. That's popped in the air. And Toomey has it for out number three. As we'll head to Bob the third. Thunder still lead it two to one. Pass here in the bottom of third as the Thunder lead it two to one over the Bustles. Arbor Bike in his third inning of work. As I'm just 
Bravo, so along with Rick and Brian. After Kyle, we're going to have the top of the order bike facing the muscles for the second time through here shortly. Count's on one. Here's pitch on the bike. That's fouled away. It went to. I believe this is Robert Pyle at the plate. Right fielder. Here's the 0 2. And that's strike three, be one away. As Brack top the order, bring up Hayes to me. Here's a pitch from Bike. And coming our way, so he fouled. Bro, Harmon, you're going to have to protect us on those. Okay. I'll be on it. Here's the 01. And it's inside, 1 and 1. That's high. That's 2 and 1. Such good plate discipline, not doing bike any favors here. I know, I saw a little, I'm like, what are y'all doing here? Well, our nephew's on this side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll make it three and one. Oh, yeah, totally. Ellis is here, too. This is the real Here's a pitch from Pike. And that's high ball four. We run her on and one out for the mighty muscles. Hi, Brian. Run around. Two hole up. What are you thinking here? Well, Toomey's one of the faster players on the team. I would not be surprised to see him go here. Coach Dodson just raving about his young star. He says, you know, Toomey just does stuff. He's constantly on base, constantly making plays. Here's the 01. There he goes. On the second. And he's going to be safe. Still on base for two. There you go, Brian. As we go to the count. Okay, the term they used for him was spark plug. So, can he be the spark plug to start this inning off? That's grounded. Mike has it, though, the first hit time, round number two. Good job, Kate. Trying to trap him between the bases, going to reach back to third. Productive out, though, from Grandma, putting the ball in play, getting Toomey over to third. Toomey over to third with two outs. Runner 90 feet away. I'll bring up Porter Hutchinson. It's actually Parker Dodson up. Excellent contact hitter. As that's going to be ball one. Toomey dancing off third base. Does not give the pitcher any time. And that's a high fly ball in the outfield. And that's going to drop outside the game up. And going to throw it to the cutoff man. That's going to be a double. For Johnson, and we're all tied up at two. Well, they called two with the spark plug, or just so lived up to its name. Gets on base, two outs, and scores. Two out, 
Doubled by Dodson. Here's a pitch. That's high. Airtight, 2-2 game. Did we really expect anything different, Rick? No, not at all. I mean, when you have a guy like two of me that gets on base, even if it's two outs, you expect for him to make something happen, and that's exactly what happened. Still a second. Got the got the third on the grounder back to the pitcher. And then scored on that fly ball to the center. Fellow pole trolls out there there will know that uh, every playoff game for the muscles has been a one run victory so far. They play good defense, play tight games, low scoring games. Here's the three one. And that's outside ball four. Runners on first and second with two outs. And now bring up Nico Juarez to the plate. Here's the pitch. All right, Brian, it's getting real. Nico's batted 500 in the playoffs. Belt back a swing, going to be 2 0. Muscles really making bike work here. And swing and a miss. Straight Great board. pitch. Get ready, Kate. Here's the 2 1. That's grounded and going to be fouled by the third base coach. That'll make the count even at 2 and 2. Ready, here's a pitch. And I'll make the count four at three and two. Here we go, Brian. Three, two, two outs. Big pitch by Mike. That's that strike three. And now in the third as we'll head to the fourth. All tied up at two, two. As we're right back here on by fly. Yeah, so we're here in the top of the fourth, all tied up at two. To be in this fourth oh, yeah. inning of work, yeah. the mighty muscles. Three, four, five. Due up in this inning for the Thunder. Big Robert Bike going to try to help his own cause. on 
the mound. Dyke at the plate. Here's the top of the fourth. As Toomey's ready, here's a pitch. And now back on that one, it's going to be 1 0. Oh. I think this is a big inning, Brian, as far as the pitchers go. As I was in for a strike, make it one and one. It's outside, two and one. That's grounded. Third baseman has it. Throw the first. Is in time for out number one. That's Juarez on the throw. Grape over. Number two, Sam. as solid as they get on third base. We have a celebrity visitor to our broadcast booth. Mr. Forrest Williams. Mustachioed assistant manager for the Majors Astros looking to get themselves a championship ring tonight. Stick around on Vibe Live, 7.30 on the East Field. Nice mustache, Forrest. Yes, counts one and one. Here's a pitch. And swing and a miss for strike two. Coach Wynn watching some of his former players out here today, including the aforementioned Takedo, Parker Dodson, both former Raptors. And swing and a miss, strike three. And I'll be two away. really seems to be finding a groove here. Well, I think this is, for both pitchers, a very pivotal inning. Well, we'll I'm talk, seeing what they do. We'll talk about this more later, but uh, Bikes pitch count creeping up towards the 85. He'll have to be dragged off the mound by wild horses, but he's certainly settled in as well. Yeah, it can't be 0-1. There are rules, dude. <laughs> that's a trooper, and that's going to be fouled. Make it go with two. Rick, what's your saturation level estimate for Coach Thielhorn's shirt over there? Well, it looks like he's already gone through three. Um... He looks like he just got out of the shower on the third. Yeah, that one is low. It's going to be one and two. Gee, Eddie, you're looking fit. Yeah, it counts even at two and two. That's a liner over to third baseman, and that's going to be a stand-up single. Chase Johnson, your walk-off hero from the semifinal clash against the Muck Dogs, back on base again. And I'll bring up Murphy to the plate. With two outs, one on. Here's a pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Griffin Murphy, another one of those great two-way players that you see in championship games. Stellar third base play all year. Constantly on base. Here's the 01. That's in the air in the infield and caught by the shortstop for out number three. As we'll head to the bottom of the fourth, still all tied up at 2-2. As we'll be right back here on Five Live.
back to five fly. Tied up at two here at Post Oak Little League. Gus Barbosa, Rick and Brian on the broadcast. Robert Mike still on the mound. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. All right, big inning here, Brian. Yeah, we talked about the game within a game in terms of pitch counts. Our statistician tells us that, that was Bike's 77th pitch. This could be his last inning of work. Most of you listening know we've got a soft 85 pitch limit here in the minors for 11 year olds. But he has looked great. And it's fouled back. They'll make it one and two. Both pitchers have looked great. As it's Simmons. At the plate. I think if you had asked Coach Dodson and Coach Hutchison if they could get through bike, still be tied in the game, they probably would have taken that deal. That's exactly where they are here in the bottom of the fourth. Exactly right. Yes, yeah, counts one and two. Andrew Simmons fouled it away. I can step off the mound. A little discussion with this catcher. Up one, two in the count. That's not to take lightly the Thunder bullpen, though. They've got Elliott Lux and Sam Newtown. High quality pitchers ready to go when they Both these bullpens are definitely solid. They definitely have guys that can back these starters up. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Simmons staying alive. Bike in the low 80s pitch count now. Here's a pitch. And that'll make the count even at 2-2. Two two. And foul the way once again. Simmons putting up a fight. Robert stuff still looks great, Brian. It, it looks like he looked from the beginning of the game. Yeah, I think in our day, uh, Robert would probably go the distance 100, 150 pitches. Well, when we throw 180 pitches. Coach Hutch having a word with the home plate on. Presumably asking about his family. As counts two and two. Here's a pitch. And found a way, Simmons staying alive. Another perfect example, the muscles just really making bike earn every out here today. Every out. Every out. And that, that reaches the corner, strike three, and it'll be one away, another strikeout for bike. And I'll bring up Quinn Persia, Takeda. That's I think fun. this is it. Himself, yep. Lux gets the call. Robert will go to short. And that'll bring up Lux to the mound. And we'll take a break here on Bike Live as Lux will warm up. As we're all tied up at 2 2. We'll be right back.
back here on Vipe Live. Lux on the mound, four to Thunder, all tied up at 2 2. You know what you're going to get with Lux. He's going to throw strikes, he's going to make him hit. Thunder infield now lines up with Newtown on third, Bike in at short, Griffin Murphy over to second, Case Johnson at first. Field horns behind the plate. As be Quinn Persia coming up to the plate. With one out in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the first pitch from Lux, and swing and a miss for strike one. Put some heat on that one, Brian. And that's inside, be one and one. Crowd continuing to fill out here at Post Oak. Everyone's excited for the 7.30 Majors Championship, but we got a score to settle here on the Carl Sullivan middle field first. As that's outside, two and one. Lock it up and and fouled away that one. Counts even at two and two. Here's a 2-2, and just got a piece of that one. Birds are staying alive. And that's outside, 3-1. Counts four at three and two. Big touch here, Brian. And that's high, ball four. Runner on for the muscles. Double play. It's a rear walk what? for the Ducks. Double play, Bill. Robbie Halpin up to the plate. And swing and a miss for strike one with the off speed. And inside, one and one. Get ready, check it. And swing and a miss, strike two. Lux gets ahead in the count. You, know, you don't see a lot of nervousness from the players today. If they've got it, they're not showing it. Uh, everyone's pretty cool, calm, and collected. And that's a swing and a miss for strike three, two away. First strikeout for Lux. I think the parents and the coaches are probably most nervous of all. They're definitely sweating it more than the kids. As I'll bring up Worth Mendez to plate. Persia going to second. It's going to be a stolen base and no throw. Be 1-0. Oh. Runner in scoring position for the Muscles. With two outs. Back it up, infield. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. Got in front of it. Counts one and one. Mendez uh -huh. with an inside the park home run to his credit this year. With only a slight degree of defensive shenanigans. And that's a swing and a miss for strike two. One more now. Also having trouble with that breaking ball. Looks heading to count at one and two. Here's the pitch. Yeah. And swing and a miss, strike wow. three. What an inning. The Luke's coming in. 
Taking care. Robert Elliott. That is just great. That is great pitching. Yes, Al. In the fourth, and we'll head to the fifth, all tied up at two. Don't go anywhere here on Vibe Live. And we are back here at Fife Live, all tied up at 2-2 here at the top of the fifth. Toomey still on the mound for the Mighty Muscles here in this fifth inning of work. Here's the pitch. And that's in there for a strike. For those wondering, Toomey's at 64 pitches, but as a 10-year-old, can only go to 75 today. So probably going to see some Parker Dodson sooner than later. As count to and two. Took me ahead in the count. Dodson, the winning pitcher in the eight inning thriller against the Scrappers the other night in the semifinal game. And that's grounded. Toomey has it. Throw the first. It is not in time, and that'll be an infield single. And Gale's on the ground. Great hustle there by Gale. Able to get back on his feet. And all good at first base with also with the infield single. Gail's father, George, seems gravely concerned. I believe the exact words were walk it off. And rub some dirt on it. As will be Lux at the plate with the leadoff runner on. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss for strike one. As tag's not in time. You can't get too comfortable leading off against this uber athletic muscles defense. That's going to be a swing and a miss for strike two, the high fastball. Hutchison has moved over to first, incidentally. Grandma behind the plate. And that's grounded. Go to second in time. And loses the bobble. Picks it up and tags him. That's that'll be out number one on the fielder's choice. Really heads up play by Simmons there. Yep, over in the bag. And yeah, 
Juarez. That was a great play by Juarez on the throw and then ready to pick the baseball back up, tag the runner. As I'll bring up Hunt Philhorn to the plate and one out. Yes, that'll be a swing and a miss. It's Oscar Croswell. And fouled away for Croswell. As counts in with two. It's been fun to see Croswell's progression as a hitter this year. Two big hits in the playoffs so far. Two really big hits, and he's a really good kid. He was uh, on our team when we were on the Tar Heels. And yeah, that's going to be a strike him out, throw him out, double play. That's all in the top half of the fifth. As we'll be right back, all tied up at two, back here on Vipe Live. Back here on high ply, bottom of the fifth, all tied up at two. Luck's on the mound, and that's a swing and a miss for strike one. Check that, it was a practice swing. <laughs> Just have a discussion with the umpire. What are we discussing here, Brian? That's a great question. Coach Dodson for the muscles seems to be wondering the same thing. Always nervous about these ex parte discussions. Now we're ready for action here. Good. Now in the batter's box. Ready to go for the bottom of the fifth. The brothers Stewart coming out of it. And that's a fly ball into the outfield and gonna be caught by the shortstop. As that's Robert Bright. Now at shortstop after pitching four innings today. Three and two thirds. Great catch there, Brian. Sure was, and just a, a big lift to the team to get that leadoff hitter out here. So that's going to be low, 1-0. Oh. Passes to Montgomery Stewart at the plate. Here's the pitch. 
Again, swing and a miss for strike two. Strike one. Make it a one one count. That's a fly ball. Mike going back at it. That's going to drop. And that would be a single for Stewart. Well, that is the definition of a CNI dog. That's how bring up Robert Pyle to the plate. With one out, runner on first. Here's a pitch of Lux. And swing to miss for strike one. Hayes Toomey looming on deck. Lux has to deal with Robert Pyle first. And swing and a miss for strike two. That's actually going to be a strikeout. And it'll be two away. Well, I guess I was right. It is one and two. And that's inside. Ball two. Counts even. And popped in the air. Yeah, it's going to be out of play and foul. As we mentioned earlier, Lux's older brother Benjamin will be shooting for a Majors championship ring tonight. Astros Red Sox at 7.30. Now making a full count. You know, he has been great since he's taken over. And outside, ball four, the runners on first and second will run out. Oh, yeah. As Pyle will hustle the first base, back in top of the order, be Hayes Toomey. The big opportunity for the muscles, the yeah. runner in scoring position. Yeah, just a key moment in this game. In the air, behind the first baseman. Stewart will head home. Here's the throw. And the Muscles take a 3-2 lead. Toomey coming through as Johnson couldn't make the play at first. And it's 3-2. Mighty Muscles take the lead. That was a tough play, right? Yeah, it's a play Johnson usually probably makes. But again, Toomey just hits the ball so hard, puts so much spin on it. Lux is ready. Here's the pitch. And that's a triple. That's going to be fouled. After all these one run victories, you know Coach Hutch and Coach Dodds would love a little insurance here. No doubt. But if he can get out of this inning with just one run, give it up. Out third base line. And that's going to be a four cell at third to be two away. That's a play by the third baseman. Coach Hutchison using that as a base running teaching moment. And I'll bring up Parker Dotson to the plate. Big at bat for Pete Diddy. That's low. And the runners will advance to be runners at second and third. They just can't afford another pass ball here. That's grounded. Pass Lux. Here's the second baseman. And no throw. And it's going to be a 4-2 to two lead. Another infield single for the Muscles. And it's 4-2. to two. Well, that's unfortunate, Brian, right there. That ball came off the pitcher's glove trying to make a play just to load the ball getting to the second baseman and the runner was safe and there'll be a team meeting on the mound yeah and I was speaking with coach Dodson earlier this week 
the, the muscles sometimes seems like they catch a lucky break here or there, but the bottom line is when you're this good, this well coached, you tend to make your own luck. You put the ball in play, you make all the good defensive plays, you pitch well. Baseball has a way of evening out like that. And it'll be two outs. And I think it will. I think it will even out as we get deeper into the game. Granted, it's fifth inning. And it'll be Hutchinson to the plate with runners in the corners. Here's a pitch. And that's a hard hit ball in the left field. Another run will score, and that'll make it 5-2. to two. RBI single by Hutchinson. Now if you're the muscles, you're starting to smell it. Three more outs yeah. to get in the top of the sixth. Some combination of Toomey or Dodson on the mound. It was a great hit, but it was also a great play by the left fielder. Because that was a shot. And he got it in as quick as he could. And I'll bring up Nico Juarez to the plate. And swing and a miss, runners will advance. And I'll make it an 0 1 count, swing and a miss. Here's the pitch. That's another hit in a deep left field that's going to drop. Another one will score. Here comes Juarez going to second, and that's going to be a stand-up double, and that'll make it 7-2 on a two-run double. And the four gates have opened here for the Mighty Muscles. Well, then, that could be the dagger. And that's grounded. Third baseman has it throw the first in time for out number three. And the Mighty Muscles score five as we head to the top of six as they lead it seven to two over the Thunder. As we'll be right back here on Vipe Live, final chance for the Thunder.
And we are back here on Fight Live. Five spot in the bottom half of the fifth for the Mighty Muscles as they lead it 7-2 over the Thunder. And final chance for the Thunder coming up here at the top of the six. And there's a spirited discussion going on at home plate between Coach Thielhorn and our home plate umpire. Rick, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this has to do with whether the Thunder's batter at the end of the top of the fifth yeah, I drove by you earlier today, I gave you a wave. Incurred strike three or whether the stolen base attempt was the last out of the game of the inning. Well, we're definitely meeting at the mound for a discussion here. Once that gets sorted out, we'll at the top of the sixth, seemingly a tall order for the Thunder, down five, but with some of the miracle comebacks we've seen at pole this season, I don't see anybody leaving early. No, well, Hutch is out at the mound, too. So, so, so what's the deal? So what's the argument? Do you know what they're debating, Brian? Well, as I said, I, I believe it has to do with where they are in the order. We've got Commissioner Macy here who was hoping for a good controversy before the end of the championship game. No, I was. Go out there and handle it, Lou. Stay as far away from that as possible. Toomey getting to the end of his pitch count. Mighty Muscles don't seem too concerned about it, though, with Parker Dodson waiting in the wings. Not a bad plan B. And yeah, that's in there for a strike. Counts one and one. And swing and a miss for strike two. Just a superb performance by Toomey today. Toomey has pitched five complete innings, looking for a complete game. Here's the pitch, and just fouled away. Only runs Toomey giving up for the top of the first inning. It's been a shutout since. Here's a one, two, and swing and a miss, strike three. Went away for the Thunder. Well, wow, Brian, Toomey has been incredible. It's a tire game. Since he got out of the first, he has mowed down every person. And that's going to do it for Toomey as he's reached his pitch count. Five and one thirds inning, only giving up two runs. That's how to do it. And it's going to be Parker Dodson, the new pitcher for the Muscles, as we'll take a brief break here on Five Live as Dodson warms up.
back here. Mighty Muscles up 7-2, to two, top the six with one out. And first pitch is a strike for Dotson. And that's grounded. First baseman has it, and that's two away. As that was Hutchinson on the tag. And the Thunder are down to their final out. Now, if and when the Muscles record this last out, I'd just encourage everybody out there to just pause and soak in the jubilation that you may see from the men in purple. It'll be Wade at the plate. Here's the pitch from Dodson. It's going to be a swing and a miss for strike one. Just an absolute heck of a season by both teams. And it's going to be fouled away and out of play. Be 0 and 2 and the Thunder are down to their final strike. Great season by both teams. Great effort. Good players. Got about a hundred young field urchins ready to storm the field. The Dodson can put weight away. Here's the pitch. That's in the air, in the outfield. And that's going to drop for a single. Way to go in the second. That's going to be a stand up double. And the Thunder are still alive. Great up there, Brian. All right, let's strap them. Send Debbie up. Back to the top of the order for the Thunder. Bring up Lux to the plate. Got the top of the order coming up. In these playoffs, we've seen a team erase a six-run deficit in a single inning, that Buck Dogs Hooks game and the infamous blackout in the first round. No pitcher I'd rather have on the hill here, though, trying to close this out than Dodson. Lux hits that one into the outfield, and that's going to drop for a single. Here's Wade heading towards home, and Lux is going to stay at first. That'll make it 7-3. to three. RBI single by Lux. Well, here we go. Little two-out magic for the Thunder. Next up for the Thunder, number 24. Hunt field home. Theo Horn at the plate. Here's the pitch. That's low. Correction, it was the hooks that erased the six run deficit. And that's in there for a strike. Counts one and one. <laughs> that's low, two and one. Lux on about going to second, gonna go back to first. All right, Brian, we got some drama here. Two outs. Hunt the hole and batting. Here's a 2 1, and that's high. Hitters count. Robert Bike waiting on deck. Three balls in the strike. in there, strike two, full count. Runner on first, two outs. Here's a three, two. And that's high, ball four, and it'll be runners on first and second, two outs. What folks, here we go. And it'll be Robert Bike coming up to the plate. Get off the bed. If you're Dotson here, you just gotta remember that the no matter what happens with Bike, the tying run is not even that bad run. It's a high fly ball in the left field. It is fair. Lux heading towards home, and they'll make it seven to four. Mine before I can even read the stats. And now bring up Newtown. As he'll be the tying run at the plate. Robert led the team in every offensive category this year. 
Here's the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. The old saying goes in baseball, the hardest out to get is the last one. Gets ready to rush the field. Here's the pitch. That's grounded and fouled. Oh and two count to Newtown. Seven to four. Here's the pitch. And that's low. One and two. And that's high. Counts even at two and two. Here we go, man. Two and two. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And the Mighty Muscles win the game. The score is seven to four. And here comes the celebration as the kids rush the field. That's a wrap, folks. Congratulations to the Mighty Muscles. Good job, Mighty Muscles. Congratulations to the Thunder. Well played game. Great season. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Fun. Pleasure. Brian, pleasure. Rick, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys. As the final score of tonight's game, as it's the Mighty Muscle 7 and the Thunder 4. As the kids rush the field, that'll do it for me, Justin Barbosa, Rick and Brian, and our producer, Will Barbosa, Alex Barbosa. And that'll do it. And don't go away anytime soon on Fight Live. It'll be the Red Sox and the Astros for the major championship game coming up.